Hey everybody, Vicki Gale here. I uh, got another song for you. This isn't a new one. This is a very, very old one from actually back in the in the 60s. Um, it was written by a, a man named Tom Schuyler, and I started out on a little internet search for songs written by him because he wrote a song that some of you may have heard me do. It's called um, This Old House. And I liked that song so much, I thought, you know, let's go see what else he's done. And I came upon this song, which actually wound up being recorded by a woman by the name of Lacey J. Dalton. And it became a, a big hit for her and became the song that she's identified with. And it tells the story of Music Row back in Nashville when it was first starting, music was first starting to develop and Music City wasn't called Music City yet. There was an abandoned row of warehouses out on 16th Avenue and slowly these started to be taken up by studios and we're talking about these classic studios where Elvis recorded, where Johnny Cash recorded, where Patsy Cline recorded. They all came up along 16th Avenue and there was always a crowd of wannabe musicians, uh, wannabe country stars that were hanging out on 16th Avenue. And this is the song about those people and about... Uh, part of the heritage of the music that I love and that I hope you love too. From the corners of the country, from the cities and the farms, with years and years of living tucked up underneath their arms. Bless the boys that make the noise on 16th Avenue With a million dollar spirit and an old flat top guitar They drive to town with all they own in a hundred dollar car Cause sometimes someone told them about a friend of a friend they knew Who owned, you know, a studio on 16th Avenue Now some were born to money They never had to say survive And others swing a nine-pound hammer Just to stay alive there's cowboys, drunks, and Christians, mostly white and black and blue. They've all dialed the phone, collect to home from 16th Avenue.